Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM, where we're just kind of hoping we can get to um, the next council report without anything bad happening. Oh, we finished the autopsy on the Thin Man. The subject's external appearance is that of a Caucasian male. I would guess this age to be approximately 35 years old, although it's quite likely this is an artificial effect intentionally affixed by the aliens. The specimen is roughly 2 meters in height and weighs just over 80 kilograms. Despite its outward appearance, upon dissection, the creature's unique organ and bone structure is revealed to be distinctly alien in nature. The subject's bones are segmented, rather like the vertebrae of a serpent. This segmented structure appears to give the creature a spectacular range of motion in combat. So it can, like, scratch its back very well. A large portion of the specimen's thoracic cavity is devoted to enormous glands. Oh, he's got enormous glands. The ladies are going to like that. Capable of producing a toxin. They might not like that part. <laughs> that is then expelled via ducts with considerable force. Because they can shoot poison. After a thorough chemical analysis of the subject's venom, we theorize that it could be used as a powerful disinfectant to treat our soldiers' injuries in the field. Dr. Shin is working to develop a means to integrate this substance into our existing med kits uh, for future deployment. Targeting another example of the specimen in the field using the unit analysis view may reveal further details about its distinctive combat abilities. Alright, so what are we going to research next? I want a skeleton suit. We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Yeah, get off. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. I think they just came down for McDonald's, judging from the last episode. Incoming transmission. Oh dear, please don't be mad at us, Council. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Ooh, excellent! Your recent results were beyond our expectations. Thanks, John. And that is not a statement this Council makes lightly. I got an A. I'm going to show my mom and dad. Grade A. Um, so we get some money. We get a scientist. We get three engineers. These are all the good things we've done. India is not doing well, though. It doesn't take much before they would leave we will be in touch commander don't touch me um let's go to engineering the new engineers arrived this morning commander good we got 12 We're engineers. always glad to have more help down here so we need a satellite uplink center oh we don't have enough power ass that sucks um we're going to build one we need a power generator Crap, that's hardly any power, too. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. And now we don't have enough allies for the freaking armor I wanted. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. Yes. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Shut up. We need a power generator, which is going to take five days. Crap, crap, crappity crap. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. All right, so the skeleton suit research will be done in 13 days. Accessing operational. Ooh, we built our elevator. Which if we if we go to the grand view and we scroll down, you can see it right there. Alright, so we're building a power generator there. Let's excavate here. Man, I I wish we could just start the satellite uplink thing without enough. We're going to just wait on the other thing, because the most important thing for us right now is to get that satellite up and running so we can try and cover India before they leave. Oh, shit. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. 
Oh man. Damn it. Mexico is panicked. It's very difficult one there. Australia's um, panicked. And I think they count that under the Asian region, even though it's not technically Asia. And Egypt. I'm not too worried about Egypt. I think we need to take care of Australia or Tijuana. Um, shit. Let's go to the barracks. Are there any officer training bonuses we can get? I want a bigger squad size, but that's not really... I think we're going to have to take a big risk and go with Australia because we don't want... I know it's not really part of Asia, but I believe they count it as part of Asia for the um, for the game. Man, this could go terrible. The one nice thing is if we win, we get um, guys... Oh, and people get promoted! Let's do uh, Link's promotion. Let's see, you can get lightning reflexes. Reflexes? Forces the first reaction shot against this unit to miss each turn. Oh, I kind of like that. That means if he's running and somebody's doing Overwatch trying to hit him, they'll miss. Um, the other one, close and personal, plus 30% critical chance against adjacent targets. Um, we're going to use the one where you can run and not get hit. And then Castillo. You're a heavy, and you get the uh, first uh, squatty thing of rocket. And of course, Big Dookie's coming, uh, Gamer Pixie, and um, uh, uh, Sanchez. <laughs> I thought we were going for, to Tijuana for a second. I forgot we picked Australia. I was going to end up in Tijuana alone, Commander Prepare Paul. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Somebody should arm the koalas. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Man, I got to be really careful on this mission because it is a difficult one. All right, Sanchez, uh, go there and just go into Overwatch. Let Gamer Pixie cover your back. Do the exact same thing. We have Eric Castillo, man. He got better Enemy fast. Enemy spotted. Yeah, there you go. Fuck him up, Sanchez. X-ray neutralized. All right, Eric, will have you go into Overwatch? Actually, Big Dookie, we're gonna leave you out in the open. And have you go into Overwatch? And then hard drinking Lincoln. Um, we'll have you come up here and do similar. Oh fuck! Let's take them out. Take them out to eat. Fuck them up, Eric. Yeah. Oh, you missed. Damn it, son. We don't pay you to miss. I can miss for free. He did scare the guy away, at least. You hear that? I do. Man, do we dare move Lincoln across like that? I don't think so. Oh, man. I want to shoot a grenade. We'll blow up. Shoot a grenade. Throw a grenade. I don't think he can throw that far. No, that'd be just on the outside of his range. Fuck it. Go back to where you came from. New Jersey or whatever. I don't know where you're from. All 
I have you going to Overwatch, Eric? Sanchez, you get up around here. Maybe you can get a better angle on the guy. Oh, that angle is still shit. Oh, I'll well, take a shot. Shot failed to connect. It'll make it easy for other people to hit him, though. We'll have uh, Gamer Pixie going to Overwatch and Dookie. Lord Dookie Lowrider. All his friends want a Lowrider. <laughs> what the hell kind of move was that? Sanchez, can you get a shot on this guy? Oh, that's still a shit shot. Uh, we'll try it one more time. Oh, Nailed nice. It. Go, Sanchez. Guns dry. Pixie, take the lead. Nothing. Uh, you just wait there, bro. Get down. Get up, get down. Ooh, you see that? Oh, I don't think you can throw a grenade that far. You can. I don't know if it'll hit him, though. Screw it. We're going to throw a grenade. Sorry, trucker. I don't know. It might be your livelihood. Frag out. <laughs> All right. We just fucked some poor dude's truck up. That happened. Um, Eric? Damn it, where do I have you go? I guess we'll just have you line up with the other guys on the forklift. Oh no! It's raining death over here. Man, look at Lincoln. He's got the duck and weave moves. He's like, I learned that splitting rails, son. Now I'm going to split your head. Oh, please don't shoot at Lincoln. They're moving to flank me. All right, where's Gamer Pixie? She's going to save you, Lincoln. She believes in America. She's going to be like, <laughs> it's time for Independence Day. Independence from your life. <laughs> no longer a threat. That was delicious, to say the least. You know what, Dookie, run up there and throw it. It's going to be like in the movie Stalingrad, where you're just like, ah. Catch, bitch. Frag out. This is how we do it in America. Well, in Australia, uh... That thing's gonna blow! Well, don't stand right next to it, Lincoln. Oh, who do you have a shot on? Yeah, I know it says no targets available. I'm so confused. Yeah, just go take some cover up there. Oh, we better have you reload, bro. Good to go. I don't want to get too far ahead of us, but so far so good. I honestly expected to run into an enemy right there. Why does it have the little alien head on there? I'm confused. Let's take him out. Yeah, you guys best go fuck off. Oh, he does have shots on them, though. Come on, Eric, fuck one of these guys up. Or maybe he's just got shots on that one. No 
longer a threat. Man, he's he's come through big time. I wonder if Gamer Pixie could get a shot from here. Nope. Get the sniper over. So far, the sniper's been useless this episode. Lincoln, let's get you up here, too. Oh, I should have hit running gun. I forgot you had that bonus. They're falling back. No! Ah! Don't hit Eric. Oh, that was Gamer Pixie. She was pissed. She was like, don't shoot Miss my friend. Target. Fortunately, she missed, but... No, no, let's get our sniper on this. Does he have a shot? No, actually, before we do that, Sanchez, I think it is, is he the one that's got hollow targeting that'll help? Damn it. Missed the target. All right, that should give, um... Big Dookie a better shot chance. Hoorah. Go to hell, alien. Oh, there's still more alive? Well, that doesn't make me happy. Fuck. Uh, just keep your eyes open, Lincoln. I don't know. I don't know if the game's glitching out with that or if I don't understand some aspect of the game. That he's getting the red alien head and nothing's come of that. Pixie to the rescue. Oh no. I've got a visual. Leave those dead guys alone, dude. Not cool, man. What was that sound? That was probably aliens. <laughs> um, let's go back to the sniper. Does he have a shot at- Oh, fuck, he doesn't. I'll just have him reload. Damn Let's it, big rock. dookie. Lincoln, we're going to have you go with run and gun. All ass. So that means he can, if I remember correctly, he can run his maximum and then fire. Do it, Lincoln. Please hit him. Please hit him. Ow. Man, Eric doesn't have any shots from there. How far does his rocket shoot? Oh, not far enough. We gotta get you closer, son. Shoot an alien, or shoot a rocket up an alien butthole. Oh man, maybe from this angle we can hit that guy? Ooh, nice shot. I wish he was dead, but that's at least Need something. Resupply. That's gonna put him in a bad mood. They're oh no! Us. Oh no! Lincoln! Holy crap! Lincoln's got these ninja moves. Behold, Ninja Lincoln. Yeah, we're gonna fire this fucking rocket. Oh shit! Oh god. Sanchez hit that. It blew up this van because he didn't hit it quite right, which hit Gamer Pixie for a bunch. You want Lincoln? Oh, what kind of shot do you have? Fuck it. 
Check out Abraham Lincoln. He's this much of a badass. He's like, son, suck some America. No longer a threat. Another day, another successful operation. <laughs> Lincoln's badass. He just ran up and point blank the dude. <laughs> Oh no! Unchecked alien activity has caused mass hysteria in Mexico. We're in danger of losing them from the council. That's really bad. Wow, we're trying to hold on to all the places we can. Alright, we got some good promotions, Captain, some of these other things. Fortunately, Gamer Pixie's wounded, and so is Eric. Got a bunch of corpses, some weapon fragments. Uh, panic's increased in uh, North America and Africa. It's um, Panic in Australia has decreased by one, and it hasn't increased in uh, Asia. Remember, we will be watching. Look at Mexico. They're in emergency status. Uh, we did at least prevent it from increasing in Asia. Because we certainly didn't want that to happen. Um, how close are we on these facilities? Man, two more days to the power generator and then building a satellite uplink is going to take a little bit. We might be screwed when it comes to Mexico. So let's go to the barracks and do our upgrades or our promotions. Gamer Pixie, as you heal, let's do yours. Let's see. A rifle suppression, a fire barrage that pins down the target. Granting reaction fire against it, or we can do uh, allows medicates to uh, revive critically wounded soldiers at 33% of maximum health instead of just stabilizing them. We'll do that. We're actually, I think. Oh man, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to give her a med kit. Yeah, definitely give her a med kit, and then let's. Advance these guys too. Big Dookie, our sniper. Let's see. Disabling shot allows the sniper to fire a shot that causes the target's main weapon to malfunction. Or Battle Scanner. Oh, we're going to do Battle Scanner. Uh, he gets little devices he can throw. And then he can see where they land. They're like little probes. And then Sanchez. He's a captain now. Grenadier allows two grenades uh, instead of one. Or danger, danger zone <laughs> increases the effect of um, suppression on and all rocket attacks by two tiles. Oh, I don't know, man. That's tempting too. Bigger rocket attacks. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because he almost accidentally killed Gamer Pixie with one. We're gonna go with danger zone though. And since he's a captain now. We might have a chance at a better upgrade in the barracks at the officer training school. Oh, we can get squad size up to six. We are going to get that. So now we can bring six guys out instead of five. Man, two more days to the power generator. I'll save that for the next episode. Hopefully we can get the power generator done. I don't know the... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I really worry that in the next episode we're going to lose Mexico or India. Hell, even the United States. Its panic level's gone up a fair amount. And Canada. That would be dev devastating if we lost them. Uh, things to worry about next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.